and welcome to The Loop. I'm Matt Bruding. And I'm Erin Frizz. Well, we're back from vacation and we just wanted to say great job to the Hunu and Colin Truby for taking over The Loop last week. Is that like a compliment to them? Do we... It is. Oh, well, that... we're glad to have you back too. Oh, sunburn, sunburn, sunburn. Well, ground has been broken on the largest testing grounds for autonomous and connected vehicles of its kind in the world. The Smart Center at the Transportation Research Center in East Liberty ensures Ohio will be at the forefront for this emerging and rapidly advancing technology. What this is going to do is give people the opportunity all over the world to be going at 24-7, to test in all conditions, to have multiple cars on the road. While there are certainly economic advantages ahead for Ohio, ODOT Director Jerry Ray says one of the most important developments to come from autonomous and connected vehicles is safety. According to the National Highway Safety Administration, 94% of all traffic crashes begin with human error. When we bring the infrastructure together with the, uh, with the vehicle, the potential is great. We might see a time when we'll have 10%, 30%, 50% improvement. 50% decline in the number of fatalities is possible now. Construction on the Smart Center is expected to be completed by the end of 2019. A new bridge will span the Ohio River linking Willsburg, West Virginia and Brilliant, Ohio. Assistant Director and Chief Engineer Lloyd McAdam joined officials from West Virginia for a groundbreaking on the $131 million project. ODOT is contributing about $42 million to the project. The bridge, which spans about 800 feet, will actually be put together on land, then floated down the river on barges and lifted into place. Our roads and bridges are getting high marks. CNBC ranked all 50 states based on the state's roads, bridges, airports, rail networks, ports, water utilities, and commute times. Ohio ranked fourth in the nation, earning us a A-. minus. We held a charitable cruise in on Tuesday to allow ODOT and Department of Public Safety employees a chance to show off their classic vehicles. Votes were cast by donations to the state of Ohio's combined charitable campaign. Listen up, students and parents. Working in the transportation industry is so cool that every year, ODOT partners with the Central State University, one of the nation's oldest historically black universities, and Federal Highway on the Summer Transportation Institute. It's a three-week on-campus program designed to create awareness and interest in high school students to better understand all the cool and awesome career opportunities available in transportation. This year, students were chosen from Ohio and a few other states to participate. They've met some ODOT staff members and they're hearing about their careers. So it's just an excellent way to build bridges for these students. One conversation with one of these students can change a life. It's up to us to model the way. I've learned that like, there's different opportunities in the workforce. It's not just like being a doctor. You can go and seek different jobs, knowing it's possible. Well, I learned that it's really good to have good mentors, and you should never let anyone prevent you from fulfilling your dream education-wise. If you have a dream and you want to fulfill it, you should do everything you can possible to make it happen to make it come true and let no one hold you back. No limitations to what you want to fulfill and become. Inspiring young minds and showing them how fulfilling a career in transportation can be? Well, now that's cool. Who knew? Get more ODOT news online at transportation.ohio.gov. Follow us on social media. And we always love seeing your story ideas and feedback to loop at dot.ohio.gov. And keep sending great videos like this one. And now.